the spiritual director of the Holy Ghost Adoration Ministry, Nugu, Amen. Reverend Father E.G. Kembaka, has come out with a very strong word against all Christian denominations in Nigeria, saying that they offended God in different positions they took in the process of the 2023 general elections. And um, Mbaka has been quiet throughout this political season. You will remember that his one vocal man of God or Reverend Father when it comes to elections. Many politicians always flock to his adoration ministry during the season of election to get prophecies, make some donations, get blessings or prayers from him. But this time, we didn't hear much of him because why? You remember that the adoration ministry that he is the spiritual director was closed by the Bishop of Enugu Diocese. And reason was that he was making a lot of political prophecies. On top of that, he was sent to a monastery to go and spend some time. The bishop said that he needed spiritual reflection to kind of tamper his kind of messages and avoid yeah, getting himself involved in politics. He has been in the monastery for some time. He even went as far as the United States. He was seen in a monastery in uh, California. And then he came back a couple of months ago and the adoration ministry started again. And he's full. You can see the videos every time. But throughout that, uh, this election, we did not see any politician show up at the adoration ministry, at least in public view or in the open. If they went to him in the cover of night or privately for prayers or whatever, we don't know those ones. But now, Father Mbaka has come out to say that many ministers of God from different Christian denominations made a lot of mistakes during this election. And he was saying that um, he has apologized on behalf of all the priests and pastors in the shortcomings, particularly during this uh, election and in the political period. He said they have offended God in the process, but that God should forgive them, the clergymen. He was quoted as saying that the power of God is above any rigging. The country is rotten and that we should use the times we are expensing for politicking to search for solutions to our problem. Politics for him, he said, is now dividing Nigerians and all these politicians. He called them political hawks and vultures. And vultures. So what do you see from this uh, 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 position of uh, Fadambaka now? I, I think he's kind of trying his best, struggling to keep quiet in an area that he has been very vocal in the past. So you can see there's a, some kind of struggle to keep quiet, but somehow he speaks. But now he's speaking in a coded language. He is speaking not so open as before, calling names who will win, who will not win, and uh, who has offended who openly. He didn't do it this time. So do you think that um, the action of the Bishop of Enugu uh, Diocese has produced a new Fadambaka? Is it now more mellow? Is it now more circumspect? in talking about political developments in Nigeria, is he now minding only his job as a spiritual director of the Adoration Ministry, paying attention only to spiritual matters? Is that what you think? I think that there has been an improvement on his side because um, his pronouncements in the past has pitted him against some fellow reverend fathers, against some people in the public domain. 
some who are Catholics, because Mbaka is of the Catholic fold, and those who are not even Catholics, and even those who are not Christians. People thought and complained that he is so active, he's so involved in hobnobbing with politicians, in making political prophecies, instead of concentrating on other things, instead of leading the people, praying, and avoid the center stage, like many other clergymen, pastors, reverend fathers, and the rest of them. They think that people complain that he has been too out in the open and his political messages have divided uh, people so much. If you go back in around 2014, before the 2015 election, he said something that many Nigerians have not forgotten. Then was the president, good luck, Ebele, Jonathan. He was contesting for re-election in 2019 and then in 2015. And then Father Mbaka said that something like that God has left Jonathan. That good luck, Jonathan, has now become bad luck. And people took exception to read because they thought good luck a belly Jonathan is a Christian. Very, very uh, a practicing Christian, and everybody knows. But um, his main opponent then was a Muslim, Major General, retired Major General um, Buhari. And then they found it a bit disturbing that um, Mbaka left a fellow Christian, Jonathan, and was supporting a Muslim. And that is not even the anger because the words of people, because the words he used about Jonathan, he said he has turned bad luck and he projected Muhammad Buhari as the savior that Nigerians have been waiting for. And unfortunately, some months, a few years into Buhari's administration, Nigerians started to cry. And they were missing the regime of good luck Ebele, Jonathan, that was defeated by Buhari. So there was obvious outcry that the Buhari that Fadambaka projected as the savior that Nigeria needed is even his administration became worse than good luck Ebele, Jonathan. A lot happened, bandits were all over the place. Boko Haram activities increased, uh, kidnappings became order of the day. There was issue with Flanny his men killing people here and there. And people started to say, Mbaka, you sold us a dummy. So these have been the past and what happened in the past. And um, now he doesn't, he didn't go into those areas anymore. And this is his only message that looks very, very political. But there is no substance to it. He couldn't say he wronged anybody or he made any prediction. So this is latest. And um, we ask you, please, like this video, share it so that it will get to more persons to watch it. Subscribe to this, our channel, because we bring you this kind of uh, news all the time. See you in our next update.